Hello everyone, this is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today we are going to explore how we can connect AWS EC2 instance from Portip. So in this session, I am going to cover like how we can create a security group and how we can enable that port 22 because if you want to do SSH to any EC2 instance, right? Uh, that SSH port basically is required 22, right? So for that we will enable that and how we can launch EC2 instance. Then I'll show you how we can download Putty for your Windows and then how we can convert like uh, suppose uh, whenever we are launching EC2 instance, right? From any other platform like Linux or Mobile Extreme or or any other platform, if you want to connect that EC2 instance by using SSH, right? We basically used to give the PM file, but for this putty, we have to give the like uh, that PPK like uh, putty private key file. So I will show you like how we can convert like PM file to dot PPK file, and then I will show you like uh, how we can connect that EC2 instance from that putty. Then I will show you like how we can uh, save that particular session, and then how we can connect back from the save session. And then I will show you like how you can terminate that issue to instance. So guys, let's move on to that AWS console. So these are the topic, right? So let's move on to the AWS console. So I need to launch one issue to instance, right? So let me launch one issue to instance here. instance give that something like that any name you can choose whatever name you like and let's select like this one and hold one then size also let's give default and this key pair right so i was talking about right suppose uh, i am giving this one as a pem file right? so while you are creating that pem file right? there are two options if you see this pem file for open ssh and for dot ppk like for putty right if you don't have this ppk ppk right then we can convert that pim file to ppk and then we can convert. And if you have that ppk like uh, if you want to specify it like uh, that ec2 instance always will be connect from that ppk then you can do that also or else that ppk to pim file we have to convert vice versa right so i have already pim file so let's attach that pim file here so i am not going to create here anymore and the security group right so security group like uh, you can uh, like create a security group like how you can create security group if you just like this option right it will create a security group since i have already one security group here created let me show you that also here what i have this security group like all traffic and ssh i have enabled the port 22 right so let me go back to again launching instance so I have attached that security group. If you don't like this security group, you can detach and you can uh, again uh, attach another one. OK, so let's go like this. And I'm not enabling anything here like uh, advanced section. I am keeping as it is. OK, so let's launch this is to instance. Meantime, let's download that 50, right? So just search here. Put a download for Windows and Always download from that official website. So this would be the recommendation way because there are many other websites also it will come, but don't do that because uh, there are a lot of virus it used to come to your system. So I I should recommend like uh, download from official website. So this is the putty official website. So open this one and if you click here download and there are multiple options like which one you would like to download. So let me if you select this one, so it will start downloading. So once download is complete, then you can install this. So I have already installed, so I am not going to install that this one again. So like this, we can download. OK, so let me instance. So now my launch instance is done. It is running right. So let's take this public IP and open that putty here. So before that, I would like to show you how we can convert, right? Suppose in this for this particular instance, right? I have attached this PEM file. Uh, 
cloud tenant. So let me show you that to convert like once you install it. Right? So once you install, it will come automatically like. Uh, so the gen, right? So this is the one it will be uh, allow you to convert that uh, PEM file to dot PPK right? So let me load that. Suppose let me show that. Here I have like different kind of different right? So let's like this PEM file load it. Now it is successfully loaded. Right? So let me save this file here. So giving that uh, pop up message. So yes, I would like to save it. So give the name, suppose uh, demo. Automatically come that dot duplicate selector, right? So select that. So this conversion is done, right? So now let's go to that OT. So here, this is uh, the window. So here, first we have to select the session here. So let me give that IP address. What IP address I have selected here? So now, if you guys don't know, like uh, how what could be the user for this particular EC2 session, right? So I will say like uh, just click on connect. It will and do the SSH. Then it will show you like uh, what could be the user here, right? EC2 user, right? So suppose you are launching uh, CentOS or maybe Windows, right? that time it will be different. So I will come that in my next subsequent video also. So here is is to user, right? so we can take this one or maybe we can give the D this is the DNS name. Either we can connect by DNS or by IP. Okay? So let me select this IP here. If you want, you can specify it here user also or if you don't want, while it will come that login time, that time also you can specify. So let me specify user here itself. That uh, during login time, we don't ask that uh, which user you would like to log in. Okay. And if you have multiple user, right, that also you can specify, or maybe you, during login time, you can specify. And port should be, since it is an SSI, right, port should be always 22 and SSI. Right? And let me go to that SSI and then auth. And and credential go to here. Now we created this PEM file dot uh, ppk file, right? So select this one and go to session. So everything is looks good. Give the name here. Suppose demo. Something like that. I'm going to save this one. So this is saved, right? So let me click open. Accept this. Now we are good to log in. If you see LS minus. Something. So you are not authorized. So now this instance is connected, right? So let me close this. And if you just click on this save one, right? It will take you that directly. You no need to again uh, put all these things details, right? So. Some command here, basic command. For that, what we need to do, we need to change this. Uh, what do we call this uh, instance? Right. That's only security modify the array. I'll show you that uh, what we called uh, that AWS CLI command, so that we are good to go know like okay, this is the uh, instance is connected perfectly. So, See, we can able to see this two whatever uh, storage we have, right? We are able to see this two storage here. So now we are good to connect here. Now, what else we are pending here? Save is done. Connect is to step 50. Session saving is done. Windows and this thing is done. Security group also done. Now we'll show you how we can terminate this. 
So let me go to the two steps. Why require termination? Otherwise, it will be a lot of cost, right? But uh, unnecessary some cost will come right to your account. If you not use it, then better to terminate. So if you just click here, terminate, or if you want, you can stop also and you can resume later. If you want, you can resume also. And now let me use terminate. Starting down stop. So hope this session you guys will get benefit. And if you like this session, please share and with your friend and please subscribe my channel. And if you have any doubt or any suggestion or any comment, please put your comment in this video comment section and I will give you the put the download link to this uh, video description. Okay. Chalo guys, see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.